So just talk about you know the road stretch and um, how your how your team matured during that time. Yeah, we didn't win any games um, the last five on the road, but I, we played a Big 12 schedule and it was tough. Uh, TCU and Oklahoma. I'll be shocked if Oklahoma doesn't win the Big 12, host a regional, and they have a real club, uh, older club, best pitching staff we'll face the entire year. I hope. Uh, some really good arms at us. A guy Friday night, he could be in the big leagues by the end of the year, and uh, they threw two lefties at us, or potential first rounders. And I hope it's good for our club. You hope uh, at the end of the day, and when we get into league play, that it pays off. That our, maybe it'll slow down a little bit. And uh, after seeing those guys, but uh, hopefully it's good for our club. It, it, it was tough and a tough environment, tough team, and uh, our guys battled, competed. Maybe a little mentally fatigued after being on a long road trip now, but we gotta we gotta pull up our bootstraps and uh, get back on it. Yeah, it's exciting going to play LSU anytime you can go in there. Probably uh, the best environment in college baseball. Um, so it'll be good for our guys. And then get ready, get right into Southeastern this weekend, who's got a good club. I, I really respect Jay and uh, his staff and what they've done down there. I've known him for a long time. and. Uh, it just seems like it doesn't let up. Uh, th these days in college baseball, though, it's, that's the way it is. Um, with the bat changes and the transfer rules and all that, uh, it's like every, every time you uh, hook them up, uh, you got to bring it. Uh, and hopefully our guys will against LSU. I know they're excited to go down there and, and compete against uh, the Tigers and then have Southeastern come in here and finally play at home again. You know, Paul and them, I, I respect him and their staff. Uh, obviously, LSU probably the most tradition-rich program in college baseball, if not one of the top two or three. So uh, a lot of respect there. And uh, you go down there to the new stadium and the old box or the new one, it doesn't matter. Very knowledgeable fans. Uh, one of the best uh, environments you'll ever, ever have a chance to play in. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, been down there a lot and uh, really respect those guys. But we're going to go in trying to win a baseball game, obviously. You know what you expect from conference, and uh, how excited you're actually able you you are to get into conference. Yeah, the league's playing great. That's what I told our guys after Sunday game at Oklahoma. I said uh, our, everybody in our league's playing really good, so that's exciting for the league uh, in Southeastern. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, after the schedule we've played pre-conference, we face some really good teams, some really good arms. Hopefully uh, that'll prepare us for what we're going to see in our league. Uh, only time will tell, but uh, we're excited about starting Southland play and uh, couldn't be a better opponent than Southeastern. Uh, they've done a great job and uh, we really respect them and I uh, can't wait to hook it up with them.